Hey, Katie Kimball here from Kitchen Stewardship, and I have been getting a ton of questions about our natural sunscreen review. Um, we've tested so many, but people are constantly asking, well, what about this brand and what about this brand? And I just wanted to show you um, in person how I evaluate a new brand that I have not seen or touched. So this was Andre Laurent, something that someone asked me about. And I went here on Amazon and I started kind of reading and skimming and I saw this lovely paragraph that says things like highest concentration you'll encounter in the market for under $100. That's um, very eye-catching. Uh, it talks about UVA and UVB rays. There's a typo. That's not cool. Um, you know, there's a secret ingredient. I don't know what that is. So that, you know, immediately puts my antenna up. But I always like reading stuff like this. It contains none of the wrong ingredients. It's paraben-free. They spelled that wrong too, though. That's not good. Non-comedogenic. That means it won't clog your pores. It's hyperallergenic. Doesn't have anything other. Than, oh boy, not good uh, English as a second language, perhaps here. So that's you know again gets my feelers up, but doesn't have any other nasty chemicals. Is what they're trying to say. So I'm going to do a search for the word ingredients. Um, and you know that's a Control F on a PC, Command F on a Mac. So we've got that secret ingredient, Sundrasol. I thought I have to, I'll have to look that up because there are active ingredients that are acceptable in places like the European Union and Australia that we don't have. Um, you see the hyperallergenic again. The parabens is spelled right here. Let's see where else is ingredients. Uh, aha, here's the actual ingredient. So the actives are right here. Zinc oxide, well that's great, 10% is actually about half what I usually see, but here we've got octanooxate and octosalate. Those are the chemical screens that I'm trying to avoid. Um, and then it's got pheno, or phenoxyethanol, um, which is not as natural as it could be, but so I'm looking at this and I go, oh, I'm going to X out because it's actually half chemical sunscreen, half mineral, and it's really very good greenwashing, although they could fix their grammar, right? So this is what I would call a greenwashed product. They're saying, we don't have this, we don't have that, we're super safe, we're non-toxic, but actually they still have the chemical ingredients, so forget that. Um, if you have a brand that you are curious about, go to the Natural Sunscreen Review at kitchenstewardship.com slash sunscreen. You know, first of all, you can see all these brands that I've already talked about, and then just click here, enter your email, and get our printable guide. Here's what it looks like. You can take it to the store. You can have it next to you. It tells you what you want to see. It tells you things to avoid. And it lists our current recommendations as of 2017. Um, so please, please visit the Natural Sunscreen Review, kitchenstewardship.com slash sunscreen, and find something safe for your family. Thanks.